Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading. And Virgos, you are up, so this is going to be for Virgos, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, as well as Cross Watchers that's dealing with somebody that has strong Virgo in their chart. This is also going to be for Virgo Cusp as well. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Virgo in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Virgo in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury. I am now including cusp babies in uh, my readings. I am myself a cusp baby. I am a Taurus slash Gemini. And that's your sun sign. As far as your sun sign, what that represents is who you're trying to be. You're harnessing all those cap uh, skills and characteristics of a Virgo um, in this lifetime before you pass over. So again, if you are two signs, you are born between two signs. Um, that is very important too. So because you harness both energy. So Virgo, cusp, you are now included in the readings. I should have been doing that from the beginning. So my bad. Um, also just want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting me as well as welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, I have intros in all of my videos. I also have music in all of my videos. Um, if you are not interested in listening to my intros or listening to the messages that I give to the collective, I always have a timestamp in the bottom of the comment section of my video. You can scroll past my video, go past everybody that's underneath me, and then go all the way down to the comment section and there will be a timestamp that will go directly to the reading if you don't want to hear um, any of this, okay? Moving forward, if you use your free will and you go all the way down to the comment section of the video and you say that I talk too much, when you can use your free will to just go directly to the reading if you're pressed on time or whatever, okay, you will get blocked, okay? I'm not going to put up with the immature in, um, energy. I am saying, saying this in all my videos moving forward the month of May. So it's a forewarning. I've been sitting back just watching everybody looking and see exactly what's going on. Um, because this again, I'm new to this. I'll have my first, my year anniversary will be in July. Um, so again, almost to a year um, of this. And now I'm going to actually start laying some rules on my channel. And if you um, do that, I'm just going to see you as somebody that's pushing negative energy on my channel, regardless if you have a dignity tied to you or that you were just the person to come in and try to, you know, trigger me. I'm going to go ahead and remove you and block you completely and it's no coming back to my channel okay um also the people that tell me to remove my music i will also block you too i am clear audience i have a unique gift than other readers do so i'm trying to show you my gift okay so i will block you for that my music is not going anywhere i'm trying to show you that you get synchronicities from songs from tv shows from everything from people okay um, pictures, everything, everything is synchronistic, okay, to help you on your path. And I, this is a unique gift that I have that a lot of people don't have, and it's because of who my soul is, okay. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started. So let's give you some energy updates, um, Virgos. Um, so Taurus, it is Taurus season right now. Um, it was a Taurus uh, new moon on the 4th. That new moon was about leaps of faith. So you'll see a lot of people taking leaps of faith on themselves, on relationships, on jobs, you know, on a new way of living, new perspectives. Uh, the reason of that being is because, again, after tourist season is Gemini. And if you think about Gemini, Gemini is that full energy about, you know, new beginnings, um, new per perspectives, being open mind, seeking new directions wanting something new okay so that's pretty much what that energy harnesses so you'll see a lot of people making um takes and leaps of fakes you know stepping off that 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 ledge that that mounting okay and going towards something that they um are destined to go towards or something that they're wanting to start something new okay um so then um also a lot of taurus energy is showing up in a lot of readings because of the fact that it's 
the the planets and a lot of things are in Taurus. So the sun is in Taurus, you know, Venus was in Taurus and all that. So you'll see a lot of Taurus energy in all uh, all the readings, regardless of which zodiac sign that you'll watch um, if you're paying attention to that. Um, another thing is that um, on the May the 18th, we will have a full moon in Scorpio. And what Scorpio is about is about, um, you know, secrets getting revealed. So you'll see a lot of things getting revealed, regardless if this is in the public, you know, in your environment, between you and your situation are people that you deal with, like family and friends, co-workers and things like that. So a lot of things will be getting exposed. Things that have been, you know, hidden will be getting revealed. Um, uh, again, at, at the same time as that's going on, you're going through your transformation as far as purging, healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. And like I stated, 2019 is about evolutions. It's about you involving. It's about allowing yourself to go through a transformation, seeing the things that you were not seeing before, and then allowing yourself to step in your true purpose. So again, I'm here to help the collective. This is what my purpose is to help you. Um, so take the messages how they are. Again, when you watch readings, keep in mind that you can watch a whole 30 minute or 10 minute reading and there could be just one thing that resonates with you. And that's just that one message for you. Um, if this resonates for you, you'll get a nudge. You'll be like, you're either going to be like, wow, your face is going to drop or you're going to, you know, get that butterfly feeling as far as that gut feeling. Or you're going to be like some people that deny a certain situation, you know, you catch attitudes. So whatever's for you, whatever floats your boat, floats your boat. If it resonates with you, it resonates with you. If it don't, it doesn't. And again, like I said, try your moon sign, your rising sign. If you know your rising sign, your Venus, your Mercury. And then again, like I was saying, Virgo cusp, this would also um, possibly resonate with you as well. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The cards that I use in my videos, I have um, in my Amazon store. They're also listed in the description box of the video. If you're interested in that, if you're interested in any healing stones, um, that you can get off of Amazon, incense, uh, candles, um, anything that would help you for your alignment as well as your healing and your purging. Um, this is things that I have used personally myself. I have gained to clients um, as well as my family and friends, okay? And it works. So it's up to you um, on what you use to help you with your healing. I recommend energy stones and incense um, because again, things that you can't see, dignities and things that you cannot see because of the you know your third eye being blocked. Um, you he, protecting your environment okay so protecting your aura protecting your environment um, putting plants and things like that in your home and your workstation that would also help you as well Virgos okay so again tour season that's what that's about it's about healing your root chakra healing your heart chakra starting with your foundation and building it all the way up when you think about your seven chakras you're starting from your root and you're going all the way to your crown so earth energy as far as your earth energy as well so this is you also still staying in your element virgos with you being earth and um, signs as well so you're healing your foundations you're healing your heart chakra you're letting go of resentment letting go of bitterment bitterness allowing your heart chakra to beat again um so you can receive that unconditional love as well as so you can give that unconditional love okay so building building your self-esteem back and that's what taurus is about and then you jump into that full energy and again you're you, and you know being able to manifest and so on um so let's see anything else um okay um the cards have already been shuffled like i was saying so let's go ahead and cut them on camera uh of course like i was saying i have my music in the background okay Also, I have my past life deck as well, Virgos, because a lot of people are trying to, again, and it's, this year is about evolution. So a lot of people are trying to heal, you know, past lives, be aware of certain past lives that they were not aware of to help them with their enlightenment. So I pr brought this out and then I also have my fortune teller deck that would also help with healing with past lives as well. Um, so we have that as well.
Okay, y'all ready? So again, this is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, as well as Virgo Cusp, and then Cross Watchers that's dealing with somebody that has strong Virgo in their chart. This is for you too, okay? Okay, Virgos, I don't know why I feel anxious, like I have anxiety right now. <laughs> so I don't know if some of y'all are dealing with anxiety. That just came, a rush of feeling of anxiety just came on me. Okay, so after this time, I'm going to shuffle it three more times. And the next time that what's ever at the bottom of your deck, I will take it as part of your energy, Virgo. Okay, so we have the five of wands being reversed. So this is about, okay, so I can see that this reading is going to be two sets of different energy. So go with whichever suits you. This could also be two uh both um okay so let me let me say what i'm saying there could be i want to say three situations okay some of you virgos are dealing with this and another set of you virgos are dealing with another such situation and then vir both of you virgos some of you virgos are dealing with both okay so you can have be dealing with both of these situations and this is going on in your environment okay so when the um five of wands is reversed this is about again competition okay so i feel that some of you virgos are in a situation as far as when it comes to competition this can be competition within yourself you battling yourself um as far as when it comes to you doing certain things um or making certain changes in your life or making a certain decision um is what i'm hearing as well and then i feel that some of you virgos are also dealing with a situation as far as you dealing with competition and this could be competition as far as you know your work it could be competition as far as when it comes to your love life dealing with somebody putting you in competition or virgo you putting somebody else in competition okay this is also about violence so again there could be some arguments there could be some heated tempers that's going back and forth as far as when it comes to you and virgos as well but this is also about lust and desires so again there could be somebody that is making a decision as far as releasing themselves from certain competition or virgos you can possibly be let's say if you were the one that was putting somebody in competition you could possibly also be releasing um that situation and releasing yourself from that energy as well okay so um combative energy is what i'm hearing a lot of y'all are dealing with a lot of combative energy and look yeah you have the six of wands being reversed okay so when the six of wands is reversed again backstabbing um losses you know somebody dealing with somebody that has too much pride okay We have the higher fit card coming out. And again, like I was saying, that's that Taurus energy. You have Justice card coming out, which is that Libra energy. You have the Ace of Cups coming out, which is that uh, upright. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. Wow, Virgos. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Somebody is going for some love. Somebody's giving somebody a commitment after them not giving somebody commitment and they put this person in competition. And you know why I say that? All these cards are upright, Virgos. So a lot of things are getting ready to turn around in your life, regardless if this is love, regardless if this is just, you know, justice within yourself, as well as justice in work, okay? Um, some of y'all possibly are also dealing with situations as far as when it comes to your belief systems. But let me keep going. I can see a lot of different things as far as when it comes to you, Virgos, but look what we have here. We have the lover's card coming out. So this is Gemini. So some of you Virgos can possibly be dealing with somebody that is a Gemini. Or again, like I was saying, it's getting ready to be Gemini season. So some of you Virgos could be already harnessing, you know, that air energy as far as, you know, re uh, gaining clarity, being determined, you know, just being, um, you know, 
that confident, that compassion person that you are. Um, so again, the lover's card, when this is coming out, this is about that divine union. This is about that soulmate union as well as that twin flame energy. So so a lot of y'all could be in that situation as far as you knowing the person that you're with, with or the person that you were dealing with or you finally, Virgo's making a choice and you seeing somebody as, again, your divine partner, okay? This is also about letting me know that the relationship that you and this person have is also about friendship. This is about that love. This is about somebody basically bringing that balance as well as that harmony together. And okay, um, some of y'all possibly Virgos, let's say if you have been going through a situation and you were dealing with somebody that has put you in competition, our cross watchers is Virgo has put you in competition. I feel that some of y'all possibly could have been focusing more on yourself. If you see she's in the mirror, um, she's, you know, doing the things that she needs to do as far as our heat. You, um, Virgo men doing things that you needed to do as far as when it comes to healing yourself. So some of y'all could have been more focused on yourself after dealing with some type of competition. You could have removed yourself from that and you could have been more focused on your self-love. Some of y'all are building your self-love back together as well and you're loving yourself more, okay, is what I'm hearing. So again, somebody basically is seeing somebody as their mirror, seeing them as their um, their partner, okay, if you see that too, okay. Um, we have the Hierophant card coming out. So again, this is about commitment. This is about somebody basically wanting to build a strong foundation. This is also about you Virgos as well, you know, tapping into your divine wisdom, you getting the synchronicities, um, you teaching yourself as well as educating yourself. So some of y'all could be studying, uh, studying, you know, are focusing more on, you know, our, I feel that some of y'all have been looking up certain things, are reading about certain things, are studying about certain topics, um, you know, really putting in time in that. If that's something that you are getting ready to do, Virgos, I'm just letting you know, I feel that some of y'all could possibly also, you know, just be putting more time into, I feel like a certain project or something that you're wanting to do that you are studying about, okay, um, is what I'm hearing. Um, when the Hierophant card comes out again, this is about your spiritual being your own spiritual master. So again, let's say if some of y'all are dealing with, you know, beliefs, belief systems, as far as when it comes to, you know, your childhood, the way that you have been up brought, uh, you know, brought up, let's say if, even if this is a same sex mesh, uh, relationship, that's also has to deal with your belief systems because of, uh, you know, the way that we were, um, taught, uh, to believe, um, certain things as far as when it comes to a soul and you know things like that but again whatever it is virgos i feel a lot of virgos right now are questioning their belief systems they're going through a lot of different things regardless if this is you know your childhood back with your your mother or again like i said if it's religious or spiritual beliefs i feel that a lot of y'all are going through that right now um this is also again again let's say if this person virgo in the past Okay, so let me just say the cards that we have here. So you, because um, I know y'all look for that. We have Gemini here. We have Taurus. We have Libra here. We have the Ace of Cups upright, which could be Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. And then we have a Queen of Pentacles, which Virgo could represent you, regardless if you're a Virgo man or a Virgo woman. Or you could be dealing with another Earth sign, which again could be a Taurus or another Virgo or a, a Capricorn, okay? So this is what I have right now, okay? So let's say if this person is coming back from your past, this person now is one to give some type of commitment let's say in the past if they were not giving you justice to, uh, virgo or cross watcher this virgo is not giving you justice i feel that somebody was seeking fairness they were not getting fairness in this relationship especially again the only card that we have that was back um reversed was again the um don't leave me girl <laughs> don't leave me girl okay and uh wow that just popped into my head and that's what i'm i was getting ready to say um, with the five of, of wands being reversed with that competition energy, if that person puts you in competition, Virgo, or cross watcher, this Virgo puts you in competition, I feel again that that person realized that they, you were, they were not giving you any type of justice in this situation. Again, I feel this person is uh, seeing you as their ace of cup. They see you as, you know, their happy place is what I'm hearing. Our cross watchers, you see this Virgo as your happy place is what I'm hearing. Um, this is about friendships. This is about joy. This is about heart, uh, 
happiness as well as emotional growth. So again, so let's say Virgos, if you have been battling yourself when it comes to giving yourself this uh, commitment or going into a commitment or removing yourself again from competition or even putting other people in competition, I feel that you have had some type of emotional growth about yourself. You, with the Queen of Pentacles coming out, this is about you basically transforming in your energy and allowing yourself to build yourself up with confidence. When the Queen of Pentacles comes out, this is about somebody that's wanting to invest in something long term. So if this person is coming back from your past, this person is wanting a long term relationship. They're wanting to invest. Um, they see you, Virgo, our cross watchers. This Virgo sees you as somebody that's very caring, very nurturing, somebody that has a big heart. Um, you could be um, as well as a good mother, a good father. But I feel that you you are very hardworking, Virgos. A lot of you Virgos are very hardworking. You're very, um, you know, you, you focus a lot on your money. Um, you can put more time into your money. And again, you could be putting more time into yourself. And again, some people could see that as, as far as you loving yourself. But at the same time, you're finding that justice within yourself. You're allowing yourself to go through your own emotional growth. And again, it's allowing you to go through this transformation and you're, st you're standing bright in your energy. So I feel that a lot of y'all right now are doing the things that you need to do as far as healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. And again, Virgo, let's say if you were um you know fearing commitment or um uh, in competition um for this this person's love or cross watchers you are in competition for this virgo's love i feel that somebody is finally getting some type of justice okay this is about fairness finally getting served to you okay and some of y'all are finally going to get to your, your that connection because you have you have the lover's card look look what you have here you have you have the you have the lover's card you have the hierophant card you have the justice card you have the ace of pentacles and then you have the queen of pentacles okay what what else can you say about this connection and again if this is somebody that's coming back from your past after you put them in some type of a competition our cross watches this virgo put you in some type of him competition i feel this person is now wanting to to commit and forever forever they're wanting to commit forever now okay um yes look you have the page of pentacles you have the four of cups. This is them regretting. This is them basically, um, you know, uh, realizing the missed opportunities they have had as far as when it comes to this connection. Some of y'all Virgos could have been drinking or cross watches the uh, Virgos. If you're dealing with somebody, they could have been drinking uh, as far as when it comes to, you know, just reminiscing about their actions and, th and things like that. The missed opportunities that they possibly had when it comes to this connection. And again, if they were coming in maturely as far as when it comes to giving some type of type of co uh, commitment i feel again that this person now is coming in as the queen of pentacles they're now wanting to come in they matured as far as when it comes to their emotions they're doing the things that they need to do as far as when it comes to grounding their self again if this person had to go through a transformation they went through a transformation i feel like somebody went through a transformation overnight okay and i, I don't know why i'm hearing that okay um, the next card that we have is the Seven of Cups. So again, like I was saying, this person in the past, they possibly had a lot of different options that was available to them. Um, it could have been different suitors. Um, if it was not different suitors, again, they were occupied as far as putting in their energy into their friends and family or in their work because you have the Queen of Pentacles here as well. Some of y'all were possibly dealing with somebody, again, like I was saying, that was more focused on themselves. They could have been more selfish. And again, at the, at the same time, let's say if they did put you in some type of competition, and Virgos, you removed yourself from this person. Our uh, cross watchers, you removed yourself from this Virgo. Again, this per Virgo right now is realizing our cross watchers. Um, you're realizing um, Virgo is the person that you're dealing with is right now realizing the regret. Um, okay, they're very, um, they're discontent at this moment. Again, uh, possibly if there was rejection in the past, there was some of y'all that were dealing with rejection. This person did reject you. Are you rejected this Virgo cross watchers is what I'm hearing. But again, I feel that somebody is now um, letting go of some of their options. Um, they're wanting to give a commitment. They're wanting to give a, a solid offer is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, yeah, we have the page of cups. So this person could be younger than you. Um, is what I'm hearing as well. Virgos are uh, cross watchers. This Virgo could be younger than you is what I'm hearing. But again, I feel that somebody is maturing as far as when it comes to their emotions. Again, if you are in study mode or if you are educating yourself, again, this is student energy. So some of y'all could be uh, going to school or thinking about going to school or thinking about, again, like I was saying, studying for some type of project. It's something that you're wanting to do Virgos that you're going to have to study for are y'all pretty right now or in study mode is what I'm hearing. 
okay um but the page of cups coming out this is also about an apology so there could be apology virgos that you're giving to somebody our cross watchers is virgo could be giving you some type of apology as well um this is about again um you know somebody coming in being gentle them being kind them being romantic so again um you have uh water energy as well as earth energy here um so again this person could have that in your chart or again virgos this could be you as a lot of earth energy here and a lot of water energy here and then a lot of um and then again we have libra and then we have gemini here too okay um, so this is what I'm seeing again. This person is regretting. Why is this person regretting a certain situation? Let's so let's see what this person did for them to cause regret. Okay. Look, we have the seven of swords. Okay. So again, this is about betrayal. This is about trickery. This is about somebody having some type of hidden motives. So again, this person, again, if they put you in some type of competition, when it comes to your love connection, their heart, your divine union, the connection that you had with them, this person is realizing, again, their mistakes. They know that they caused you a lot of worries. They know that their seekiness did not play in their favor. And again, that's the reason why they're having um, regret as far as realizing uh, missed opportunities when it comes to this connection, okay, is what I'm hearing. Okay, um, so again, um, let's keep going. We have honeymoon. So again, some of y'all could be thinking about separating yourself Again, let's say Virgos, there could be a few of y'all that are going to be removing yourself from somebody that was keeping you in competition and this person decides to continue to stay and continue to keep, keep they like their options is what I'm hearing. So some of y'all are also dealing with that situation. So some of y'all could be separating yourself from that as well. Okay. So I'm just, I'm going to say that, but I feel that a lot of y'all, majority of y'all are in this energy right now. Y'all finally getting justice served is what I'm hearing. So some of y'all could be taking a trip with this person or some of y'all possibly have to try travel to this person in order for them to give you for you to give them some type of love offer because i feel virgos this is you giving somebody some type of offer because it's a lot of earth energy here but again i could be wrong there could be some of you i uh, there i know there is some of you that are um virgos that are getting apology from somebody else and it possibly could be another earth sign or a water sign or possibly again like i was saying uh libra is what i'm hearing that they have in their air their, their chart okay um if they don't have this in their chart again if it does not necessarily they have to have these zodiacs in their chart it just could be that you're going through this situation and this is resonating with you and this could be energies that this person basically is harnessing and again like i was saying it is earth season so a lot of Taurus energy a lot of earth energy is coming out okay but regardless of whichever way it is that a lot of y'all this is a good move a, a good reading somebody could be giving somebody an offer as far as let's say this person could be wanting to take you on a trip is what i'm hearing so that could be an offer as well and there could be an offer as far as gifts or as far as money as well as what i'm hearing there could be also a, a, a proposal is what i'm hearing because we also have the honeymoon card here so it says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so some of y'all possibly could have just had a uh, dealt you know enjoyed mother's day together is what i'm hearing uh some of y'all could possibly getting ready to enjoy the next holiday together which i believe is what memorial day is what i'm hearing um so if you're still into holidays some of y'all could be doing that as well we have forgiving and learning. So this is about you forgiving and learning, you forgiving yourself for allowing yourself to go through certain things that no longer serve you, as well as forgiving the people that have hurt you. Again, if regardless if this is your belief system, you know, the system hurting you, um, your parents, you know, religion, you know, lo old lovers, childhood hurt, whatever it is, allowing yourself to heal from it, forgiving yourself for going through it and forgiving the people that have hurt you as well, okay? So again, again, I feel that a lot of y'all are in learning mode, again, studying, educating yourself, doing the things that you need to do as far as educating yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. And again, a lot of y'all could be questioning your spiritual, um, your, your religious beliefs and studying more on a spiritual path is what I'm hearing as well. Or it could be vice versa. But I feel a lot of y'all are, again, belief systems. And again, like I was saying, it could be same-sex relationships too, okay? Um, but again, it says, as you release and you heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So again, some of y'all now are experiencing possibly, again, your childhood. You have, oh, again, that fell down. That could be a message for somebody because it fell. Some of y'all had to re uh, heal your childhood um, past um release you know certain things from your childhood heal your past childhood traumas and um you know that you dealt with 
as far as when you were a child as well again again i feel if let's say if you are dealing with somebody that's basically maturing their um emotions they're going from the page of cups in the page uh, the page of pentacles and now in the the queen of pentacles energy and again this is the reason why this person is now able to bring justice to this relationship because they have in they have developed in their emotions if this is you virgo or if you've been waiting for this person this person has developed as far as when it comes to their emotions as well okay because they healed whatever it was that they needed to heal um you have codependency so again some of y'all were dealing with somebody that was codependent on your energy a lot of y'all have removed yourself from like i said codependent certain certain things as far as codependent addictions and that can be alcohol drugs it could be a sex addiction it could be again money um you know um more focused on yourself you know pride issues ego um codependency as far as food addictions whatever addiction that you have i feel that some of y'all possibly were living in certain things certain illusions that was causing you to be codependent um and causing you not to again be your normal self and be in your normal energy and again like i was saying a lot of y'all are finally letting go of certain things that are no longer serving you again codependency virgos there could be um you know let's say um if you are dealing with somebody that puts you in competition or cross watches is virgo puts you in competition with somebody else again they could have a codependency on needing to be around a lot of people or they can have a sex a sex addiction um is what i'm getting from this as well so it says addictions are affecting your romantic life right now okay we have winter so it says the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully re uh, re re um, realized in the winter months so some of y'all possibly again winter last winter is what i want to say because this could be past energy a lot of y'all possibly came into realization or a lot of y'all possibly could have removed yourself from this connection um in the winter of last year is what i'm hearing um another thing is that this winter a lot of y'all again i feel that could be going through your transformations as far as let's say if you are breaking yourself from certain addictions certain habits certain things that are not uh, serving you i feel that by winter um you're going to be a, in a better position as far as when it comes to removing yourself from certain things that no longer serve you and again winter is going to be a better um, time for you when it comes to focusing on your self-worth is what i'm hearing virgos okay so if you're breaking yourself from addictions and you do it now by winter is going to be better for you um as far as when it comes to battling whatever addiction or whatever habit it is that you're trying to let go of okay um is what i'm hearing some of y'all possibly this person could be coming in or wanting to take a winter vacation with you as well some of y'all possibly could be getting married in the winter is what i'm hearing as well okay because you do have the justice card here so i do see that as courthouse energy as far as marriage as well so again that's what i'm hearing there too we have connect with nature so some of y'all are reconnecting with nature if you reconnect with nature that would allow you to heal your root chakra as well as your heart chakra going outside you know touching the trees sitting in the grass walking barefooted paying attention to you know the insects um the birds the air breathing the air looking at the sun looking at the stars different things like that that would help you uh um you know nurture your energy as far as that earth energy that you are virgos so i feel that some of y'all are doing that some of some of y'all possibly need to go sit at in a water sit at a lake or sit at a, a pond uh, again um if you do that that would also help you gain mental clarity as well so it says you rejuvenate and inspired by spending time outdoors so going outside more virgos connecting with nature okay we have summer so again summer is just around the corner virgos it says everything that you are asking for becomes yours in the summertime so again some of y'all again are going to be getting this offer um coming up soon uh, again a lot of y'all are going to be manifesting the things that you want to do some of y'all are going to be taking opportunities as far as again let's say if you do need to check yourself into some type of rehab virgos in order for you to remove yourself from certain addictions um that's no longer serving you they're saying for you to take advantage of that as far as when it comes to this in the summer and then once you do that again by the winter you could be getting released or you can be completely healed from whatever it is that you need to be healed from is what i'm hearing so some of y'all are going to be taking effort in that right now and by the winter time again you have a new transformation you have a new growth about yourself okay um is what i'm hearing you have listened so listen to me right now okay so a lot of y'all are going to be getting these messages and it's going to be resonate with y'all some of y'all have been listening to yourself you've been trusting yourself again we have a two here which is about union this is about being balanced some of y'all possibly again we're not you know 
uh, bringing balance in your life. Again, if you were been fighting addictions or if you've been, you know, putting yourself in competition, Virgos or cross watchers as Virgos has been putting you in competition. Again, I feel that some of y'all were not listening or seeing the certain signs as far as when it comes to this person's habits. Again, they're saying, listen now, um, pay attention when somebody has an addiction. If they have an addiction, let your, they, they need help, they need help. If not, again, if you can't help this person, they're saying for you to let this person go. Find that justice within your Yourself, and that's what I was hearing, hearing earlier as well okay um, we have reach out so again like I was saying reaching out so again if you are fighting addiction and you know that you need help Virgo they're saying our cross watchers they're saying for you to reach out there is a support system that's out there for you again some of y'all are going to be reaching out to this person Virgo if this is you that's giving this person this offer our cross watchers you're coming towards this Virgo I feel that this person is going to be reaching out as well again knowing that you um there's certain levels to certain developments. There's certain levels to when it comes to maturing your 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 development, your own personal growth <coughs> is what I'm hearing, Virgos, as well. We have a number three here, which is about connection. Again, your 3D body is now connecting with your 5D body. Again, you connecting with nature and then you forgiving and you learning um, and letting go of any resentment, any bitterness and letting go of anything that no longer serves you is going to allow you to connect with your 5D body. And at that time, you're going to start seeing the synchronicities at the time you have no choice but to listen because they're going to be right in your face. OK, we have move. So again, some of y'all are getting ready to make a new uh, move, uh, take a new direction. Um, some of y'all possibly are going to be moving. So let's say if you do um, want to connect to this person, there could be some of y'all that possibly will need to move in order for you and this person to be yet to be together. So some of y'all could be moving in the summer is what I'm hearing. And that you could have a lot of different options as far as when it comes to where you want to move to is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, we have another seven, which is about mystery. So again, that's activations in your third eye and your crown area as well. We have cow spirit, so it says basically the miracles are endless. So again, knowing that miracles are endless, keeping your faith, staying positive, seeing the synchronicity, seeing the sign, you know, following your gut intuition and just basically just knowing that, you know, the universe will pay um, in your favor when you're doing good, Virgo. Um, um, we have the 15 here, which is a six again about past, which is about harmony. So the past could be coming back, Virgo. We have Panther Spirit, so it says reclaim your power. We have a four here, which is a, a 44, which is a four, which is about stability. So reclaiming your power, stepping in your strength, um, being courageous, disciplining yourself, being passionate, and while you're doing whatever whatever you're seeking passion in, just being adventurous and being daring and being mobile. I feel that this person is getting ready to be bold. Again, Virgos, if you're getting ready to give somebody a love offer, I feel that somebody is getting ready to give somebody a commitment. And again, like I said, it could be a proposal that this person is coming to and this person is getting ready to be bold in that as well. We have Nightingale Spirit. So it says love is all around you. So again, knowing that love is all around you, knowing that you do have a support system, Virgo or cross watchers, if you need is what I'm hearing as well. Knowing again, once you start seeing the synchronicities and the signs, knowing that you have always been connected to nature this whole time, your ancestors and your higher self. We have a 41 here, which is a five, which is about conflicts that brings change. We have release and surrender. So again, like I was saying, a few of you Virgos possibly are releasing yourself from competition. Some of you possibly have already released yourself from competition Virgos or cross watchers. You have released yourself from this person. You, you surrendered yourself from this connection. And again, like I was saying, this person is coming back after you release this person. Now this person is surrendering. Now they're coming to give you some type of offer and some type of apology is what I'm getting. Okay, so Virgos, that could be you or this could be vice versa. Some of y'all are finally releasing and surrendering yourself again from a certain addictions, certain a codependent energy that's no longer serving you, regardless if this is a relationship that you're codependent in, money that you're codependent in, again, addictions, drugs, alcohols, um, food, whatever it is, you're releasing and you're surrendering from that, okay, as well. We have seek within again, going within, trusting yourself more, Virgos, trusting yourself more before you trust everybody else. Going within, getting the knowledge and the information that you need, um, you know, asking yourself and your higher self to guide you, okay? Following your intuition, okay? We have the arts. So again, some of y'all could have been magic uh, musicians, art artists, painters, singers in past lives. Some of y'all possibly are get have a, uh, you know, get 
messages from certain arts is what I'm hearing as well. Certain music could also give you certain me give you certain messages, gives you certain synchronicities as well. A lot of y'all, again, like I was saying, could be going to art school. Um, or again, if you start painting, painting could be also something that helps you heal as well is what I'm hearing. Trees, so again, connecting with nature, going outside and touching the trees, connecting with nature, grounding your roots, okay? Grounding your roots, okay? Planting your seeds, uh, Virgos, is what I'm hearing, okay? So some of y'all go out there, connect with nature, getting your energy, getting your element, taking advantage of this earth energy as far as Taurus and doing the things that you need to do as far as putting yourself back together, okay? We have courthouse. So again, how didn't I say earlier courthouse? Somebody's getting ready to get married, okay? Somebody's getting ready to get married. We have a 23 here. We have a five, which is about conflicts. There could be some of y'all that are dealing with, um, again, court systems. But again, I feel that you're getting justice there. I don't see anything where you'll have a bad situation as far as when it comes to if you are dealing with lawsuits or dealing with something that has to do with the court. I feel that you're going to be getting justice again from that. Again, I feel that there's going to be a marriage for somebody, okay? We have privileged lady. So this person is putting you on a pedestal. stool. They're putting you first. Again, if they were putting you in competition in our uh, Virgos or Virgos, you were putting somebody else in competition. I feel that there's somebody that you have your eye on. You see this person as a, the, uh, the privileged lady or the privileged male, um, whichever it is. We have a 12 here uh, again, which is a three about connection. And then last card Virgos and we are done. And this is what we have. You have the eye or raw. We have another tree here. Okay. The heart, your heart chakra, focusing on that, okay, Virgo. We have time, okay, time. It says you are trying too hard. Give it time. So again, give it time, Virgo. Things are gonna uh, turn for you again, especially if you are trying to fight addiction. Go and get the help that you need. Again, if you Virgos are in a situation where somebody is battling addiction again, and if it's not, you know. If you can't handle it anymore, I feel that somebody needs to focus on themselves. And again, that's the reason why the Queen of Pentacles is coming out. Remove yourself from that codependent energy, knowing that there is people that's out there to support you, to break yourself free from it, regardless of if it's addiction, a relationship, or whatever it is, and knowing that you have love that's all, all around you. You making the move and you doing this move and making the move this summer, okay? Um, again, and this is going to possibly bring a lot of different options to you, Virgo. Once you relieve yourself from whatever codependency is going to bring a lot of different options in um to your life okay is what i'm hearing so let's see what cards that we have here we have the queen of pentacles so again this could be you virgo taurus or capricorn we have the ace of pentacles which is cancer pisces as well as scorpio we have the justice card which is libra We have the higher flint card, which is Taurus. We have the page of cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. And then we have the page of pen pinnacles, which again is Taurus, uh, Virgo, as well as Capricorn. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day.